Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is on common uniform mistakes and how to fix them. So one of the common ones that I really see is ironing the patches on your sleeves. So you only have patches on your BDU sleeves and they go right here. This one doesn't actually have any. But you need to crease between the patch and the seam and then from the patch down to the bottom of the sleeve. A lot of times I see it either they don't have a crease at all or they do crease the American flag patch, the Texas flag, or whatever wing patch or um, NCSA patches. So I think that's a really common one because you just don't even think about it when ironing. Cords primarily are for a CAC, but a lot of wings, like my wing, Texas wing, has supplements which allows us to get a bunch of other cords for AG SARS, uh, our RCLS program, um, some training schools, stuff like that. So, like, I have one right here, and a lot of times I see them being worn up, which means you'd be taking the cord and placing it up here instead of right here, which is just wrong. And then another thing that 39-1 uh, says is that it needs to be pinned to the sleeve. So a lot of times, see, you can see mine is pinned right here, so see how it doesn't come off. It, even though the regulation does not say take safety pins and pin it, it does say it should run along the sleeve. So that's one thing that a lot of people don't wear. If you have more questions on the cords, there'll be a link somewhere up there with my video all about cords. Another really common one is with ribbons. Now, ribbons can be very complicated, especially when you're brand new or if you have a ton of ribbons. But it's a really simple and easy problem to fix because there's a McCord Ribbon Rack Builder, which is just an online program. But a lot of times, I see people take these and just kind of put them on there. Or if you have like nine of them, so it's, then they'll flip them upside down. So you take them off, you put them all together, and then you put it on upside down. You have no idea how many times I've seen that. Or kids who are just airmen in the first class, or they put their encampment run wrong, or they just don't know what they're doing. They just see ribbons, and so they... The next one I see, so common, and it's so easy to fix, and it's simply getting a black t-shirt. Now, back, way back when, we used to have these, like, brown ones, but they're so hard to find, so we switched to black. Another thing with the black t-shirts is they either have writing on them, or they are crew neck. Crew neck is just like this. It's like a rounded, where a lot of people will either get v-necks, or some weird, I don't even know, or they get them really low or too big. So you can either sleeve the sleeves up under their BDUs, like rolled up BDUs, or you can't see it at all here because it's so big it like falls down on them. The next one is covers. Now, your cover should fit where it's straight across, not so like a baseball cap. So like that, that's how a lot of people wear them not like this. See how right here it's like straight across? I know I'm wearing it indoors, so my hair's not up, I'm not in uniform. Bear with me, people. But they wear them like a baseball cap or they're too big, so you physically cannot put it straight on your head. It has to slant back. And that's one of the big problems with actually just buying it. They're not buying it the correct size, so of course they're gonna get a wrong, poorly fitting cover. It's just how it's gonna work. Which, once again, there's a video link somewhere up there about buying the correct cover. If you are a staff member, you will resonate with this so much. Insignias. Cadets, well, and if you're an NCO, it's a problem you have to deal with. That's one of the great things about being an officer is you put them on and you never have to switch between BDUs and blues. I highly, highly, highly suggest ordering a second pair to leave on your BDUs and blues. It's great for encampment and your squadron has like a trade-in program or if you're promoting with someone above you or below you, it's great to be able to switch out with them and pay the difference because it's so much easier to have two sets, one on each uniform, instead of switching back and forth. But cadets either have them wrong or they miss them altogether. Especially if you have blues one week, BDUs the next week, like that type, it's so easy to forget them. It's crazy how many cadets either wear them like JRTC way, I've even seen cadets with them upside down. I've seen cadets with only one insignia. What happened together, I don't know. Insignias are such an easy thing to fix and put on and do correctly that it's so disappointing when cadets show up with them wrong. So that's an easy problem to fix. Guys, if you have anything you would add to this list of uniform mistakes that are really common, leave it in the comments below. Maybe I'll do a part two. If you have any questions on what I said, check the description below because there should be some links to what I was talking about. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Now you have the ABUs 
which currently are with the Sage boots, and that's what the Air Force wears. And the Sage is like a tannish, greenish kind of color.